Hi, and welcome to another short and sweet lesson. This one is for the evening. It's designed to get you ready for bed. So this is one that you would do right before bed in some fashion in your routine. <clears throat> Hi, and welcome to another short and sweet lesson. This lesson is designed to, to um, help you to rest and get ready for bed. So however you fit it into that nighttime routine is fine. It can come before you read a book and get into bed. After you brush your teeth, you can do it on the floor of your bedroom. However it works into your routine. So it's, I'm keeping it quite simple. I hope you'll enjoy it. It starts with our all-time favorite chakra vakasana. So you'll get down on your hands and knees. I find that I can get down on my hands and knees no matter how tired I am at the end of the day and do a few chakra vakasana to <clears throat> warm up and lubricate my spine, get any of the glitches out. So you're going to feel that nice base of the knees and the hands. Exhale, inhale to prepare. And shift back as you exhale, head following last, clear pause. Good. And if you haven't joined me, join me. We'll do six breaths of chakra vakasana, nice and easy. And you just want to feel that you're just moving the body a little bit to get out any of the tension, remove any of the tension of the day. You're not doing anything mega because we don't want to, you know, amp the body up. We're really looking for some very easy, warm down kind of feeling in the body. Nice and easy and relaxed. So take your time to finish six chakra kasana. And then we're going to lie down on our backs. <sighs> And I find a twist is an absolutely wonderful way to end, to unwind. So we'll bring our knees to the chest for the twist, arms out to the side, palms down. And you're going to go into the twist and stay for six breaths. So you'll prepare by breathing in. And then as you exhale, the hips and the knees and the legs go over to one side. The head is last. Make sure that the arms stop dangling. You need to anchor it onto your body if it's hanging in the air. And you're just going to count those breaths on your finger. Smooth breaths, ujjayi sound, clear pause, just resting in the twist. There's just a sense of unwinding. Breathing meditatively. You can feel how each breath maybe moves your body a little bit. As you inhale, you untwist a little. And then as you exhale, you can twist a little bit more. And if you support that exhale with a little bit of drawing up in the belly, you'll twist a little farther with each breath. Six smooth breaths. You need to count them on your fingers if you're going to be sure that you did six. And on that last, after the last one, you're going to inhale, draw the knees up, come up to center. That's it. And exhale over onto the other side, forming that nice firm base with your legs and the head turns last and the arm is either supported on the body or is resting comfortably on the ground and you're just going to smoothly breathe in and out with clear pauses six times it's a meditative sort of easy place you want to find there's no trying to push or pull yourself into the stretch you're just letting the breath move you each exhale is actually deepening you in the pose, so just let that happen, feel, and observe that happening. And 
Then take your time so you've finished all six breaths. And then you can draw the head first to center and then draw the knees up to center. And six smooth breaths of Alpanasana to counter pose. Nice and easy. Make sure that you have as relaxed shoulders as possible. Try to get a real feeling of kind of rocking across the lower back with this movement. And just to see if you can observe how the exhale and the bringing of the knees in works together. And how when you move the knees away, see if that, you feel that relationship with the breath as you make more room by taking that pressure off your belly. That's it. So, finishing six, taking your time, one foot down, then the other, and stretching the legs out one at a time. And then just a moment in Shavasana. But we're going to do one more pose. So bend up your knees, roll over onto your side for a moment and come up. So one of the best poses for relaxing and unwinding at night is a forward bend. You may have heard me in these short and sweet lessons mention how back bends are energizing. Twists are also energizing. So it's good to um, follow a twist at night. I mean, Twists are so wonderful, aren't they? It feels so good to twist the body. So you might like for your forward bends to have that little um, support under your sits bones, under your hips. And you might have something under your knees too. You want to, you know, it depends on your hamstrings, right? We want to be quite mindful and gentle of our body in this. And what we're going to do is that sequence where we, we will um, inhale, Exhale, forward bend, stay for one breath. Inhale, come up, and exhale, lower the arms. And then we'll do it again, stay two breaths, and then the third time, stay three breaths. So, sitting comfortably with a long spine. Exhale to prepare. Inhale, sweep your arms up, always observing your best position. Exhale, hinge first, and then flow forward, relaxing the neck and head. And stay for a breath. Clear pauses. Inhale, sweep your arms up and out, whatever you need for your body, and then exhale, lower the arms. Good. And we'll do that again for two breaths. So inhale, the arms sweep up. Clear pause. Exhale, hinge as best you can to go forwards and relax forwards all the way. There's absolutely as little tension as you can find here. Just stay for your two breaths. I find that the exhale helps me go deeper into the pose, especially if I'm slightly drawing up and in with my belly. After two breaths, you want to inhale, lengthen up the arms and the spine, and exhale, lower the arms, clear pause. That pause is a little moment of relaxation. Last time for three breaths. And hinge as best you can and then just flow forwards into your forward bend. You have three smooth breaths with clear pauses. If you can feel a little bit of drawing inwards and upwards on the exhale, you might go a little deeper with it each breath. But resist any urge to pull yourself forward. We want to have a very relaxed experience here with the breath. That's it. And then inhale, come up. And you're always, of course, following your own rhythm of breath. So if you finish sooner, that's fine. If you finish later, take your time. And so very rarely do we finish with the forward bend because of that energetic effect. But since it's bedtime and we're unwinding and relaxing, it's perfect to finish after a forward bend. So we're just going to stretch out in relaxation. One leg and then the other leg. 
Any supports you need, make sure you get. And then letting go of any effort to control the breath. Take your awareness inside, scanning for tension. Unwinding. Observing how your body rests on the ground. Noticing that you could feel yourself getting a little heavier. You can feel that weight of your body tracking down to the support of your feet. And then bringing your attention to the breath, just watching it, seeing if you can observe the breath without changing it. And training to the rhythm of your breath, finding your whole being sinking down into the area of the heart, the seat of the heart. That area that just controls our relax and renew response. That when we Gently focus on ease, on slowing down. We can influence our bodies and our minds to really relax. Staying with the breath for just another few breaths. And then when you're ready, bend up your knees one at a time. Over onto your side. It might not be a good idea to stay too long because we're going to do pranayama and then you really don't want to fall asleep while you're doing your yoga because it actually can kind of sort of take the edge off so that you're not actually as tired when you go to lie down. So you want to make sure you, you stay alert but very relaxed. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on extending the exhale. So we're going to keep the inhale the same, and we're just going to keep very slowly, second by second, adding on to the exhale. And the reason for that is because that slow exhale is so relaxing, so nice to do right before bed. And in fact, this pranayama is really excellent um, for doing um, in your bed, lying down. So if you ever can't sleep, you can use that. So what we're going to do is we're going to lengthen the exhale every two breaths. So most of us are starting at somewhere like four, five, or six. Start a little easier than you usually do. So let's, let's just play with four. So I'm going to inhale for four, pause two, exhale for four, pause two. Same thing on the next breath. The next two breaths is going to be inhale four, pause two, exhale five, pause two, and that's so on. Same with the second. You get to the second set, two breaths with an exhale of six. Same inhale, four, two exhale six, then two exhales of seven, and then two exhales of eight. Once you get to eight, go back to six for the last two breaths. Okay, so you drop right down a little bit, not even just to seven, but down down to six, okay? And then you can, um, however this is fitting into your routine, go on with your routine after a minute of observation. Okay, so <clears throat> sitting up nice and tall, exhale to prepare, inhale four, pause two. Exhale four, pause two. Again. Good, then carry on with the next breath, but this time on the exhale, count to five. Good, again. The next time you'll exhale to six. Inhale four, hold for two, exhale six. And again, four, Inhale, hold two, 
six, exhale. Now you're gonna inhale to four and exhale to seven. Continue for another breath doing that. Of course, if it feels uncomfortable in any way to lengthen the exhale, then just try to find a spot where you can lengthen it as long as possible without any discomfort. And so finally, if you're able, you're up to an eight exhale. And if you can't get to X eight, that's fine. Don't strain because you know what? You're just gonna keep practicing. Someday you're gonna find it super easy to count to eight as you exhale. And don't forget the last two breaths, we go back down to six, more comfortable, more ordinary sort of breath. And when you've done those two breaths, turn your hands, palms down, close your, you keep your eyes closed and just focus on the breath. Just noticing the rise and fall of your chest with each breath. Eyes gazing gently downwards towards the heart. Maybe you can hear your breath. Maybe you can feel the cool air coming in through your nostrils and your throat. Another few breaths. When you're ready, open up your eyes. I hope you're feeling very nice and relaxed, ready for your Betty Bye. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.